Welcome. You have now entered the Haunted Library. This is where we tell scary stories inspired by you, our viewers. We know that everyone loves a good scare, and that's why we're here to bring you spine-tingling tales of horror and suspense. Each week, we will take our prompts and turn them into stories that will keep you up at night. From ghostly apparitions to monsters lurking in the shadows, we'll bring your ideas to life and take you on a journey into the unknown. We'll introduce you to characters that will both terrify and intrigue you, and transport you to worlds that are both familiar and otherworldly. Our stories are not for the faint of heart, but for those who crave the thrill of the unknown. So, if you have an idea for a scary story that you want to see come to life, share it with us. Let us bring your darkest imaginings to life and take you on a journey that will leave you breathless. Put your ideas in the comments below. Once upon a time, there was a young girl named Emily, who was obsessed with makeup. She would spend hours each day applying different products to her face, experimenting with new looks and perfecting her technique. She loved the way makeup made her look and feel, and she couldn't imagine ever going without it. One day, Emily decided to try a new type of makeup that she had never used before. It was a special formula that promised to give her a flawless, airbrushed look without any effort. She eagerly applied it to her face and admired the results in the mirror. As she looked closer, she noticed something strange happening. The makeup seemed to be alive, almost as if it had a mind of its own. It began to move and shift on her face, almost like it was trying to take over her skin. Emily tried to wipe it off, but it wouldn't budge. She tried to wash it off, but it only seemed to get stronger. Over the next few days, Emily watched in horror as the makeup continued to take over her face. It spread like a virus, covering her entire face and neck with a thick, oily film. Her eyes bulged out from under the layers of mascara and eyeliner, and her lips were sealed shut by the sticky gloss. Emily tried to scream for help, but no sound would come out. She was trapped, a prisoner in her own body, at the mercy of the makeup that had consumed her. As the days turned into weeks, Emily became a legend in her town. People whispered about the girl whose makeup had taken over her face, 
warning others to be careful with what they put on their skin. Some said that she was cursed. Others that she had brought it upon herself through her obsession with beauty. But Emily didn't care about what others thought. All she could think about was the makeup that had taken over her face and the fact that it would never let her go. She was trapped, forever a slave, to her own vanity.